There's a Christmas movie that I love. Uh, it may not be Christmas when, when you watch this but uh, season, but there's a Christmas movie that I love drastically, and it uh, it's The Polar Express. And the reason why I love it so much is because there is an incredible, incredible meaning to what the whole purpose of the movie is. And if you guys ever watched the, the movie, I highly recommend going and watching it. But what he, he goes throughout this whole struggle of he can't hear the bell, the bells on on the on, on Santa's sleigh, and then all of a sudden he gets to a point, and, and I apologize for ruining it. A spoiler alert if you haven't watched it, but he gets to the point where he he takes it. And he says to himself, I believe. I believe. And he starts hearing the bell, and he rings it beside his, uh, his ear, and he starts ding, 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 and he starts hearing it because he believed. Now, many of you guys, 2020 is here. The new decade is here. Some of you guys are struggling with this belief. But can I really do something? Can I really produce results? Can I go out there and really have that kind of lifestyle that other people have? And yeah, you can. See, what we're going to be discussing today are, are your limiting beliefs stopping you from achieving your goals? Are they? Do you feel that? And believe it or not, most of you have limiting beliefs that you don't even intentionally realize. But it's just part of it. It's like, wow, I, I didn't even know that I was doing this. Everyone has conscious or subconscious ideas that can become limiting beliefs that stop us from achieving our goals if we let them. We choose. Sometimes these beliefs are instilled in us in childhood, and sometimes we create them ourselves. An example of a limiting belief that can get in your way of success is how you see yourself with money. Will you ever be a, you know, successful? Will you ever have enough money in the bank? Do you live paycheck to paycheck, right? If you believe you will always struggle and always be poor, chances are you'll set yourself up for failure. If you believe that, you will become it. Your limiting belief that you're poor and that you always will be poor becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. The same can be said about anything negative in your life that limits you, whether it's career, education, or personal, such as being healthy, and of normal weight. If you see yourself a certain way, it can be hard to change that view and let go. Let go of that limiting belief. Now there are eight telling phrases that point to a limiting belief. And we're going to talk about this very shortly. And I want you to guys, instead of just listening to them like, oh that's cool, I want you to stop on each one and say, wow, I never thought of it that way. That's a good way of thinking. Do I have this in my life? And if so, how can I eliminate this from my, from my vocabulary. One, it's hopeless. Anytime you use the word never, never, is a clue that you're focusing on a limiting belief. I'll never be able to have money. I'll never be able to make enough money. I'll never be able to afford that. You'll be amazed at what that does in your life. I'll never. Instead, think of the other way. I'll be able to afford it. I'm on my way to afford that. I'm on my way to doing that. Number two, I'm helpless. Number one is never. Number two is I'm helpless. When most people feel uneducated or helpless, they blame their circumstances. So if you see yourself blaming your circumstances, oh, uh, it's because I, the reason I didn't get that promotion is because you know Bob over here is better. Uh, because of this, because of this, oh, because of this, because you know the weather's bad, this. Instead of working to change your surroundings. I can't manage my money because I don't know how. I don't know how. Sounds insightful, but the part that's missing is the feeling of helplessness. When all you need to do is take a personal finance course or buy, read, and practice the lesson in personal finance for dummies. You can go out there. There's tons of resources. Go find the solution. Number three, it's useless. The idea that nothing you do will make a difference is that you believe that any action you take won't make a difference. It doesn't matter if I work out an hour a day. I won't lose it weight anyways. What's the, what's the point? How do you know? Hmm? How do you know? Have you tried to do anything for longer than a couple weeks? Building a business. Looking for a side hustle. Building significant income. To 
be able to retire you and your wife financially. Oh, it's useless. I've done it before. Have you? Have you found a mentor? Have you found a coach? Have, have you found a system that you are able to implement that inputs success in your life? Number four, it's the universe. Sometimes a limiting belief has to do with the idea that outside forces that you can't control are at work keeping you down. You can't find a job or get clients because the economy sucks. Where you live is depressed. You don't have the right clothing and so forth. But you do nothing in your power to change it because it's destiny. This is actually something I find a lot of business owners do. Oh, the reason why I'm not successful is because I don't have an email campaign. I don't have, you know, a cool Facebook ad. Oh, I don't have those video articles. Oh, all those are tools. It doesn't require success, okay? Those are just tools. Be very, very careful when you do that. Everything happens for a reason. Time, that, that kind of type of thinking can be very limiting and make you feel powerless. And it makes you not motivated to go out there and do something because guess what? Oh, the life's against me. Number five, I'm worthless. Guys, I just urge you, if, if you feel this, keep looking at our content. And you, you'll get, you, you get inspired. You'll be able to see these other individuals that are that testimonials. Uh, I just I, I urge you, you are not worthless. You are worth something. The idea that you're not smart enough or good enough to do what you really want can be a very strong limiting belief system and seems to affect women more than men, okay? You feel you're not pretty enough. You don't feel you're smart enough or good enough to have something. So you don't take the steps to achieve it because you don't feel that you deserve it. You do deserve it. You're a champion, you're a winner, you're a conqueror. Go out there and achieve that. Surround yourself by this podcast, by this, by this YouTube channel. This will help you get your mindset in the right way. Number six, it's genetics. While there are, certain some, there are certainly some instances, excuse me, where genetics play a huge role in a person's life, the truth is that almost everything that is gen genetic can be fixed with the right mindset, training, exercises, and outlook. You're not, stuck, you're not stuck with your genetics. But if you think you are, you may not try any of the things to pull yourself out of the rut you're stuck in. Number seven, I'll fail. I, I don't know what to say with this one. I'll, I'll fail. The truth is the fear of failure is something most people have as a limiting belief. I'm a bad public speaker, so if I do it, I'll be judged. And I'll fail anyway, so why try? Is a common refrain. But how can you set that belief in stone if you've not tried? If you've at least not taken action to do it and stay consistent? Number eight, I'm different. I see this all the time. We have a successful system. You know, I've been able to mentor and coach hundreds of families to build a substantial income so that they can have money in the bank. Guys, and, and what's so astounding to me is, oh, I'm different. The system won't work for me. Oh, this, my, my situation is slightly different. No, no, guys, I'm telling you, I've seen tons of situations and the system that we've been able to develop, doesn't matter what skills you have, helps you obtain the results that you want, your goals, your dreams, your ambitions. I'm able to do that. I'm able to mentor and coach those families. And what's astounding to me is the limiting belief about being different is that different is necessarily bad. You don't want it to be who you are because you're different and you'll be looked at as different by other people. You're afraid to be who you are. And because of that, you don't even know who you are and you're scared to find out due to fear of rejection and, and, and ending up alone. See, I do these podcasts and I do these YouTube videos because I want to just share who I am, who Natalie and I are, how we're able to mentor and coach and adding value and giving value to each and every one of you. Now, honestly, this opens up the tank to be um, talked about. But you know what? I'm willing to do that because if I can impact a ton of people, I can live with that. If you ever hear any of these phrases go through your head, guys, try to disconnect from them immediately and turn, a, turn them around to why not me instead of why me. Always ask, why not me? Because the truth is you're not feeling anything different from anyone else who has made goals and achieved them. The difference is in the doing 
not the intelligence or the talent. Go out there and do it, guys. Make sure you take this and you realize every single one of these things that are self-limiting beliefs, that are words, that are vocabulary, that are in your mindset and in your lifestyle, get rid of that. Guys, I'll tell you a real quick story. I was actually at a family reunion and we were talking. I was talking to my uncle. I love him drastically, one of my uncles. However, though, he is always self-depreciating. He's always putting himself down the way he talks. And I, and I had to stop him. I said, hey, man, life is already tough. I can't have you in my life. If you're, if you're depreciating yourself, I can't be around you. And what happened? I took a stand and he said, okay, I, I apologize. And then all of a sudden he started changing his way of thinking. And he's still got a long ways to go, but my point is though, is I had to say, hey man, if that's your family, your friend, and they're, they're putting you down, say, hey man, I love you, but I can't hang out with you. Life is already tough enough without someone like you in my corner. I need you to get out of my corner until I can focus on getting these self-limiting beliefs out of my own head. I don't need someone else in my life telling me I can't, I'm a failure, you know, whatever. Go out there and achieve something great, guys. And I hope you were able to find this of value. If you guys are motivated and ambitious, definitely subscribe and like this channel. And guys, wait until our next video we're going to push out. It's really exciting stuff. Until then.